Experiencing community is often best demonstrated in rural and remote areas where the expectation that the larger community will play a very important role in the lives of its members just happens on a daily basis. That's the way it is. Enecto has been involved in the Dot Jenkinson Bowls Tournament for many years and again this year sponsored the Pairs Tournament. Isn't that terrific? Support for these events is very important indeed in demonstrating how social networks play a vital role in people's lives, especially in regional Australia. Now, I'd now like to introduce Vince Alicastro and his sister Maria. Vince was born in Redcliffs near Mildura and has also lived in Melbourne. Vince is a chef and has been a farmer and a restaurateur. Welcome, Vince, to tell your story. Thank you. And very well. And probably felt And my mum from Carpelli and met my father also from Carpelli when she got to Melbourne. They don't, they stayed in Melbourne until 1965 when my older brother did his work. Born. My family lived with my grandparents in a digital home and my parents worked in a factory as well as on a funeral and I stand in the Delmarva Market. I think my family were stupid for moving to Arimpur, but my father's uncles were all living there and they encouraged him to move and buy a farm. So they did. The family farm was 20 acres of vineyard where we grew dried fruits and, where, and we were all expected to work on the farm. I think I worked the most but again, according to my brothers and sisters, that's not true either. <laughs> I drove the tractor and stacked the tubs on the trailer. I really didn't want to do this and could not wait to get to Melbourne. We went to Melbourne a lot to visit my grandparents, aunties and uncles and cousins, and I always loved it, especially the beach at South Melbourne where we used to catch the tram and play Donkey Kong and Galactica at the milk bar on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you, thank you, heart. Thank you, I bet you, thank you. That both had double primary school and then went into the high school. Which was the two bad. And then I started a apprenticeship to become a chef. I worked first at the Decapitale Bernard in Mildura when I was 16, and then at the Broadbar down the road. I then moved to Melbourne two years later and completed the apprenticeship in Glen and completed my apprenticeship at the physical age. 
then the Mavlataba was the one to probably the number of different rattles. The Melbourne will be down to rank and loyalty. When I moved back to Melbourne, I moved back into the home that my family had lived in originally in South Melbourne with my nonno and nonna. I loved this. They did everything for me. My, <laughs> my, nonna, would, my nonna would wash everything by hand as they didn't have a washing machine. And when she couldn't do this anymore, my auntie would take our washing and do it at her house. My grandparents let me do what I wanted. I was good to them and they were good to me. I didn't miss the country at all, but I did miss my family and I would call my parents regularly. My nono died with having a bed on the horizon and it is something I inherited <laughs> from, from, from him. I used to go to the price that manipulate, manipulate a lot. My friend, Ben, 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 and in the city, thought that by the Madura. Oh, I had to tell the soldiers by many times, and not the bottles. <laughs> the door was playing a card. <laughs> the adult, a lot of them had the horses and probably spent about money because my mom only, my mom had a parent about the bank loan when, when writing this. And said, no one didn't have any money. Shake it ahead. Yeah. <laughs> In 1990, I moved back to Muldura and in 1991 opened an Italian restaurant called The Focal Point with my brother Joe. After six months in business together, Joe moved out due to his work commitments, both on the land and in his engineering business. My cousins Larry Petrolo then took over as maitre d', while Larry's brother Tony, also a chef, and my sister Maria waited tables and ran the bar. Joe's wife, Sandra, and my mum very kindly washed dishes. <laughs> a lot of the family helped out over the four and a half years that I managed and owned the restaurant. Towards the end of my time at Focal Point, I started to drop pans when I was cooking. I had been diagnosed with MS when I was about 22, but it has not affected me until then. The heat from the gas oven and the stress of owning the restaurant had started to take its toll. I told my farm, but I've that many five years. Where my stupidest thoughts on the first part, the girl dominated now six days, and dominated the last ten days. And four years ago, I had a lot of, lot of stay my, my life, which let me become sick and the baby dear met more. 
Ilum tabet cidatadein oizapla prapidei. Bit tanet as I had I did I in the lapidal for seven months. As I bit the topro, almost did I come and did problem in rare. My mother moved him up to be with me. The, the whole time, not what leave my side. We, we did time together to mature. Where I then spent another my month in mature hospital recovery. into a nursing home in Orimple in December last year, just before Christmas. My mum wanted me to move back home with her and dad, which I wanted to as well. But I stayed for one night and my mum sat by my bed all night, not sleeping, which was not a good option long term for her and dad. I had lived in the nurse camp for the last two months. It's not so bad, but I would rather be with people. I'm not the better part of me time as I use a big tube, but there has been Stop. There has been time when I have need my food, vitamin, but the kids have been kind and lucky my family was to provide me with my meal at the time. Better, better. I miss not being able to do what I want. When I want going to the pub and having a bed on the races, I'm lucky that I have great family who visit me all the time and take me every Saturday and Sunday to my mum's dad's house, and I never miss a family gathering. In June 2015, I met Lael from Anecto, who I started to work with so that I could get out more and meet people. I needed to get out of the nursing home more as I was stuck there all the time during the week and I was a little bit bored and a little bit lonely. Now I am part of a men's group that meet every month. I have only been once. I am getting a volunteer that will visit me and chat about things we have in common and I go out once a week with a support worker. I went to the Muldura show and next week I'm going on the paddle steamer cruise. I get to meet people and I'm not stuck in a room. It's better to get out of, to get out, otherwise I sit in my room and watch TV or do nothing. I wish I could have Melbourne. There are people I'd better to live it and definitely with the people my family is very to me and I need to go need to be kind to them, especially my daughter. I want to go more and 
leave the paper my night. Think together to go to the factory and they think at the moment there is no one to talk to. Uh, it was important to me to get this opportunity to tell us this story. I three cousins who also live in Dirty Yard and who are in their bodies of pity and also have a similar preparedness if it means that someone lives, lives from the government and helps me and does the living somewhere else other than a news guy. Then it has been worth it, apart from getting it to, to see Melbourne. Again, in the, the end, I just want to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Vince and Maria. Vince, for telling your story. Yeah. So witty and so moving at the same time. And I think we've all learned something about how to approach the bank manager with, <laughs> with a pretty good story. <laughs> oh, that was so wonderful and, um, and so powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you both so much. Wonderful to have you in Melbourne.